a really, really sad day because I had to come on here and admit to you all that I fell off of the Dave Ramsey baby steps. I know, I actually started to use my credit card again. I'm no longer a Dave Ramsey follower. Psych. <laughs> My name is Maya and on this channel, I help women build confidence by being healthy, wealthy, and wise. I actually wanted to do an experiment where I use my credit card for a whole month just to see how much points I could earn because I feel like that's the biggest thing people love to tell me when I say I don't believe in debt anymore, I don't like credit cards. They're like, what about the points? What about the free money? So I'm like, okay, I'm going to use my credit card for everything. Literally everything. Well, the only thing I didn't use it for was Cash App because obviously like my credit card isn't linked to Cash App. Whoop -de -whoop. But I used it for everything just to see how much points I could get in a month. So if you're interested in seeing just how much points I earned in a month, please continue watching. So I wanted to be super thorough when I did this experiment. So I made sure that I tracked everything that I bought on my credit card. I tracked it in Excel and every week, making sure that I didn't get behind, I made sure that I paid it off every week. So whether it was Friday or Saturday, I made sure that I paid my credit card bill off because again, I am following Dave Ramsey's. Like again, this is just like an experiment for you all just to see how much someone can earn if, if they use their credit card for a whole month. Debt is still like a no-go for me. I like not going back down that road. So that's why I just wanted to make sure that I paid everything off right away so it didn't have like a balance i just couldn't i couldn't live just seeing a balance on my credit card it really just was too much for me that is how i tracked everything now i just used one credit card i do have multiples and they have a zero balance meaning i don't use them for anything i don't even carry them in my wallet like ugh don't need you. Now, one thing that really helped me during this time was I used every dollar which if you're a Dave Ramsey follower you know what every dollar is like come on it's the best budget in, have in the world every dollar to help me so I knew kind of what I was gonna spend or what I plan on spending before the month even started and I kind of had like an hypothesis I thought that I was going to earn ten dollars ten dollars like ten free dollars that was my goal to at least earn ten dollars in point i used my chase freedom card and that one you can have cash back so obviously that's what i was aiming for because there's not a lot of things you can get in points if it's not like a high amount there's not a lot of things that you can buy so cash back is probably your only option so that's what i did i paid off my credit card debt last november that was like the last time i've used any of my credit card so for me it felt weird using my credit card like how did it feel using my credit card it felt weird it just was foreign to me because i wasn't used to it but when i say i really felt like and kind of what Dave talks about i felt like i didn't have any attachment to money oh it's on the credit card like just wipe it like i didn't feel that pain that oh my gosh i'm spending money i never felt like that and because credit cards usually have high limits like well i don't know <laughs> your financial you know situation but my credit card has a very decent limit that i knew it was always going to get approved there was never like wondering like oh do i have this on my card or it was kind of like i know that i can put that on my card i can put it multiple most of like that transaction on my credit card and it'll go through so I didn't feel in control because I felt like I was kind of living dangerously I was just using it and I just didn't feel that I was spending money because honestly I wasn't spending money I'm spending credit and that is something that people love I feel like or what people think about credit it's not real money but it is real money like at the end of the day you do have to pay it I totally agree that if you're not someone that's responsible credit cards are super dangerous like you might as well just not do them at all like at all like and i know people say you need credit yeah <laughs> 
they say you need credit but really you don't there's multiple ways that you can do stuff without credit but that's another subject and that's neither here nor there I'm not gonna talk about it right now but personally I was just kind of off the rails I just was swiping and swiping even though I had a budget so don't get me wrong I'm still on track with my budget I would probably go over a little bit like five dollars or so and normally when you're dealing with a debit card or cash you cannot do that because you're gonna have insufficient funds yeah you're gonna get denied and that's embarrassing that's not I earned a total of $29.48. That's triple what I thought I was going to make. And honestly, I am quite like shocked. I earned that much money and it's definitely going to go to good use because it is October. So I'm already started to budget for Christmas. So I'm going to use that $30 for a gift for somebody because that's how you're supposed to plan for Christmas. I have a video on that just showing you guys how to budget for Christmas early to make sure you stay in a budget. So I'm going to use these points, this free money to buy somebody a Christmas gift. Don't worry, it's going to good use. But I am actually kind of shocked that I earned that much. But I want to call you I had to spend a lot of money on that credit card to get that amount of points. I probably had to spend at least 1500 to like 1800 just to get $30 I know you're like but you got $30 well almost $30 of free money isn't that good like you didn't have that before yes it is cool to have free money but understand this I am a responsible 25 year old okay I am very organized and on top on track I'm dialed in with my budget but I I want to caution you to like not use a credit card because you never know what can happen like life happens there's always a moment you're like oh i'm just gonna put it on my credit card and pay it off and then let's say your bill comes and you're like do i really want to put this 500 dollars on a credit card i can use this 500 dollars to go shopping that's how some people think and i used to well i never actually thought like that because to me that's like stealing from yourself like no you pay it off because you owe someone but that's not how everyone thinks so i, I want to like just i want to caution you ladies beware of credit cards because they sound all good and nice but stuff happens i've had that happen to people where they couldn't make any payments on their credit card so not only could they afford not afford 30 dollars because let's be honest if you had to pay your rent or pay your credit card bill which one you think you're paying like Obviously, you're gonna pay your rent bill. You're not gonna pay your credit card bill. And it's just gonna keep piling up, piling up. And then you're gonna have late fees. You're gonna ding your credit. And then it's gonna be something so big. So yeah, I'm a responsible person. I can handle a credit card. Now, do I believe in credit cards? No, I'm telling y'all, like I am Dave Ramsey dialed in. Like I do not believe in credit cards. I don't care about them anymore. And I don't care about credit anymore. I don't praise FICO and stuff like that. That's just not the lie that I am following right now or believing anymore. But if you're gonna use credit cards, like just understand like there's a real life danger out there on using them because they make it so easy to use them. But if something happens, it is hard and it's going to affect you for a long period of time because that is the biggest thing on your credit is most credit cards. Like so many people are in credit card debt. So I advise you don't use a credit card if you don't have to. Just use your debit card. Um, I'm missing out on $30 a month. Okay, it's just $30. But at least you don't gotta worry about someone calling you, asking you, hey when you gonna pay your bill or you don't have to worry about someone filing on your credit because when you don't pay and you're late they're gonna file and say that you're late and that's just dinging your credit anyway the whole reason you got a credit card was to build your credit and then something happened and now it's actually affecting your credit in a negative way and i'm just trying to tell you don't do it don't get a credit card you don't need them or it's just what people say like everyone's saying to get it but you don't need to get it you can definitely live on a debit card so would i go back to using my credit card absolutely not I'm not using my credit card. Like, it was only for this experiment. Yeah, I got $30. Woo -woo, that's great. But I also use like apps like Ibotta. And I have like $25 for that. So just by shopping at stores or, or spending cash in places that I know I was going to buy already, I get like rebates for that. So that's a way you can get points too. I don't see why everyone is always talking about the credit card. Most credit card interest rates are between like 20 to like 25%. That's just crazy. I won't go back to using my credit card. I'm back to using my debit card. I'm back 
to using cash even though they're making it extremely hard to use cash nowadays i am back i'm still on track girls on her debt free journey i am still following the baby steps i just had to get y'all to click on this video all i have to say it's just a cautionary tale like i just wanted you guys to see like how much money i made using my credit card if i thought it was worth it and hopefully you guys like hear the message i'm trying to tell so you don't have to go through this because it took me a whole year to pay off all the credit card debt that i had racked up in probably like six months it took me a whole year of my life of not doing anything and just really budgeting limiting myself and telling people no for me to pay off credit card debt from like months ago a year ago don't do it thank you so much for watching you should check out some of my other money or budget focused videos because that is what i'm about i want to also help you guys be wealthy and be smart with money because i'm telling you guys like people did not talk to me about money so i'm trying to be that person that tells you like this isn't right don't do but it thank you for watching ladies bye